You may be seated. Thank you. The person in the media over there is uh, Jose. He's uh, into the media ministry. He handles the media for the church. I call him and say, Jose, we need you here like never before. He said, prophet, I'll be here. So we thank God for Jose. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for my good friend, the coordinator, uh, Larry, doing a fantastic job. He's the one that put this uh, video together. We thank God for that. Hallelujah. We thank God for ushers and uh, our video personal personality, uh, Gloria. Hallelujah. She's there very busy. Amen. Amen. And whatever role you have been playing in this ministry, uh, the communication army, you are doing a great work. Amen. Amen. And I can't mention all of you because I know there are people that are working behind the scene. And sometimes you don't see them physically all right there at the pulpit, but they are doing a great work. I thank God for all of you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And also I want to thank many of you that are here today uh, for this special uh, Holy Ghost uh, Power Conference. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You will be blessed. You will never live here the same. Because God is already doing a great and mighty work. Yeah. I have seen that in the spirit. Yeah. By the time you live here, your life will not be the same. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. And uh, we have great things for you uh, today. Um, I will do, I've done the opening prayer, we've done the praise and worship, we're welcoming you. And now, uh, my name is Nathaniel uh, Ngobu, I am the director of this ministry, and uh, God has called me to raise intercessors, and I've given me the mandate to raise one million intercessors. I'm casting the vision, amen? amen. Well, I'm casting the vision, the Lord gave us a vision, I was fasting and I was praying. I said, Lord, you spoke to Moses. You spoke to Elijah. You spoke to Elisha. You spoke to Daniel. Lord, I want you to speak to me. Yes. Because God is no self respecter of people. Amen? Amen? If you take a look at Numbers, let's take a look at the book of Numbers chapter 12. And let's see what it says. That Lord speaking to Moses and speaking to Aaron and uh, talking to them. Let's take a look at Numbers. Numbers chapter 12. And see where God was speaking. He called Miriam, he called Aaron, and he called Moses. He said, well, we got to have a conference. That's where they have a first called family feud. Uh, Miriam and the Aaron were telling Moses, he said, why, why do you have to marry that Ethiopian woman? You know, sometimes when you are going to get married, everybody will like to chip in. Amen? They are not, they are not marrying them, but they want to put their own piece of, uh, <laughs> whatever the case may be. And sometimes they mess up the whole thing. The woman marry the person you want to marry because they have all kinds of opinion. Oh, they did this. Oh, they did that. Why not ask God? Okay, you go through. Amen. Amen. But we seek opinion of my friend and my brother and my sister and my concubine, everything. And eventually you miss the track. Right. You miss the person you want to marry. That's right. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you are preparing for marriage, to marry, to marry, to marry, you better ask God. Amen. Amen. And tell you the right person to marry. Amen. But that's by the side. And God started to speak to us through this scripture. He said, if there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will speak to him in a vision and in a dream. Yeah. Right. If there is a prophet, if there is a prophetess, if there is an apostle, if there is an a, you know, evangelist, if there is a pastor, a teacher, whatever your position is in the church, the Lord said, I will speak to you in a vision and also in a dream. It's in the book. Let us say it's in the book. Take a look at that. What I'm saying. Verse 5. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacles and called Aaron and Miriam and they both came forth. Look at verse 6. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. With him I will speak mouth to mouth, even apparently. Amen? I'm not in that speech. 
And God is telling us here that he can speak to us in a vision. He can speak to us in a dream. He can speak to us mouth to mouth. This God is alive. Everyone say, this God is alive. Is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why when you come to this training, this is one of the most powerful intercessory prayer training in the world. Why is it so? Because God has called this ministry to raise intercessors for the Lord. I traveled all the way 17,000 miles from Africa to land here in Houston to raise for God millions of intercessors. Amen? Amen. I am on a mission and I have a mandate and you are part of the package. Amen? Amen. What's it? I'm part of the package. Part of the package. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I will train you, we, you will be trained to start to hear the voice of God. You will be trained to start to see visions and to dream dreams. You will be trained to become a supernatural individual operating in the supernatural because the supernatural lives inside you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. How many of you would like to walk in miracle signs and wonders? Thank you. The vision is clear. I was fasting and I was praying. Very important, if you are going to be a prophet, a prophetess, an intercessor, a prayer warrior, you must spend time in prayer. I told my people, we have a worldwide following. All over the world, people are dialing into our early morning prayer. I say, very can wake up to pray. You have seen the video. The test of the pudding is in the eating. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! You have seen just a small clip of what we do, and we are doing more. We are on radio, we are on television, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are even whatever it takes, we must reach you where you are. If we cannot reach you by air, we can reach you by land. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 